Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this flywheel regenerative braking system. I wanted to make this because I was inspired by how regenerative braking works in electric cars. While accelerating, the kinetic energy of the car is increased. And while braking, instead of using brakes, they use the motor as a generator and charge the battery up slightly. So this is how it works. I got inspired to build this model from these videos. I wanted to learn how energy is stored in a flywheel, what is the round trip efficiency of this type of storage and how to calculate the energy stored in a flywheel. Have you ever wondered why fidget spinners have their weights on the extreme ends? Let's see why. Let us consider two fidget spinners of the same size. In type 1, the weights are placed at a distance of R from the center and in type 2, the weights are placed at a distance of 2R from the center. So can you guess which fidget spinner will spin for a longer time? Okay, let's see. So torque equals force times distance. So in the type 1, torque equals force into distance which is R. But in type 2, the torque equals force into distance which is 2R. So type 2's torque required will be twice more than the type 1. This means that accelerating type 2 fidget spinner takes twice more torque than type 1. So type 2 will spin for a longer time. It needs more force to decelerate it and more force to accelerate it. It also means that the moment of inertia of this fidget spinner is higher than this. The moment of inertia formula for a hoop is given by mass into radius squared. So if we take our previous example, the type 2 fidget spinner will have 4 times the moment of inertia of the type 1. This is because the distance is squared. So 2 square equals 4. So it is 4 times higher than the type 1. This is the CAD model that I have created for the flywheel mechanical battery. It consists of two wood pieces and this is a PVC pipe and this bearing is seated on the PVC pipe. I have used a bearing so that this can easily and freely rotate and this green and orange parts are all 3D printed. I have used helical gears so that the torque is transmitted easily and the noise produced is less. I have also used a car brake disc as the flywheel and I will be explaining why I have used this in the next clip. This is the flywheel that I have made and this is the car brake disc. I have used a car brake disc as all the mass is concentrated on the outer side which means that the mass is very far from the center. It also means that the moment of inertia of this is high so the energy stored in this flywheel can also be high. To mount the 3D printed hub on the car brake disc, I have used M10 bolts which are 6 in number. I have also used M4 bolts to hold the gear in place and also to hold the outer diameter of the bearing tightly. The formula for rotational kinetic energy is given by half of moment of inertia multiplied by uh, omega which is angular velocity squared. The moment of inertia of the flywheel is approximately this value. The maximum RPM this flywheel can rotate at is at around 2300 RPM which is equal to 240 radians per second. Substituting the values of the moment of inertia and the angular velocity in this formula, we get the kinetic energy stored in the flywheel as approximately 422.5 joules. It is seen that the regenerative braking efficiency is approximately 65% in electric vehicles 
This means that if 10 watt hours is put into the wheels while driving, then only around 6.5 watt hours can be put back into the battery while braking. At this moment, while accelerating the flywheel, the motor uses approximately 50 watts of power. At this point, the flywheel is rotating at its maximum speed of 2300 rpm and let's say that the flywheel is kept on the ground at this time then it would be moving at a speed of 113 km per hour which is a very high speed. At this point, all the rotational kinetic energy of the flywheel is converted into electrical energy by the generator and this energy is used to light up the LED lights and approximately 150 watts of power is used to light the LED. These are the advantages of using a flywheel. It acts as a mechanical capacitor. This means that energy can be stored in the flywheel and be used later on. It helps to output huge bursts of power. This means that in a short amount of time, large amount of energy can be released. In my flywheel, the input power was only around 50 watts and it took around 10 seconds to accelerate from 0 rpm to the maximum rpm but while outputting it can output around 150 watts peak for one second the third advantage is that it reduces the load on the motor as it uh, makes the rpm constant and smoothens the output rotation